Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to play your own PS4 games on almost any Android device. Now to be clear you will need to have a PlayStation 4 if you want to try this out and Sony's Xperia line of smartphones have already had this feature for a while. But the news here is that developer Twisted89 has ported that app to make it work on almost any Android device. The app itself is called Remote Play and previously it would check for three things. If you weren't using an Xperia device it would refuse to run. If you were rooted it would also refuse to run. And if you weren't connected to a Wi-Fi network you guessed it the app would refuse to run. But Twisted89 removed all of these restrictions so that means almost anybody can use Remote Play now and with a little extra setup you can even play your favorite PS4 games on mobile data when you're away from home. To get started you'll just need to enable one option on your PS4. So head up to the settings menu from your home screen to begin. Once you've made it this far scroll through this list and select the remote play connection settings entry. From here just make sure that the enable remote play option is ticked and then you'll be all set to go. The rest of the work will be done on your Android phone or tablet so let's head over there. Now like I said it doesn't matter if your device is rooted or not but you will need to have unknown sources enabled in settings under security. With that taken care of just head to my full tutorial on gadget hacks to grab a copy of the modified remote play app. Then once you have the APK file saved to your device tap the download complete notification to launch it. At this point Android's installer interface should come right up so tap install on this screen. When that's finished press open and you'll be just about ready to play your PS4 games. Now when you first launch Remote Play the app will offer to register a DualShock controller. That feature doesn't work on this version of Remote Play but there is a workaround. In the meantime just hit skip when you see this message. After that tap the next button at the top of the screen. Then you'll be redirected to a sign in page. Go ahead and sign into your PlayStation account here then I'll do the same and get right back with you. So immediately after you sign into your PlayStation account you should be taken to the main Remote Play interface. I went ahead and switched to landscape mode but in portrait mode you would see the controls on the bottom half of your screen. When you've got the phone turned full screen like this the controls will be overlaid instead of being in a separate section. It's actually not that bad for most games but for some I could definitely see the need for a separate controller. Well you can actually pair any PS4 controller with your Android device directly and this will make controlling the games a lot easier. I've got that part covered at the full tutorial so if you want to go that route just take a quick trip over to Gadget Hacks. I also covered an additional step that will get your games working over mobile data by modifying your APN settings and in my opinion that's one of the best features of this app. So for the full breakdown be sure to check out that article over on GadgetHacks.com. As always though we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks but until then happy gadget hacking.